Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about default field configuration or the field configuration in Jira projects. Now, to get started, I'm already in the Jira project uh, RCV Academy online portal. You can choose the project from any uh, of the project available here or you can view the project, all the projects that are available in your instance. And I've selected one from there and I'll go to the project settings. Now in the project settings, uh, what we are going to discuss is the fields. So what fields are and how they um, impact or how they uh, render on any of the Jira issue type. That is what we are going to discuss here. So if you see that the current project if we go to the summary uh, this current project in the field section is using the default field configuration which is the default out of the box field configuration and if you click on this default field configuration it will open all the details about the field config so at the moment this field configuration or the default field config is used by two projects if you click on that you will see what projects are using these two uh, this this field config so RCV Academy and RCV Academy online portal are the two projects in this instance and they are using the same uh, field config now what exactly are the fields in Jira it's basically what all um, if you create any issue or edit any issue uh, if you see the details so for example description or the component or reporter summary these are all fields in Jira now when we talk about the field config we are talking about what all fields are there and which screens those fields will appear so if you see the effects version field is um, is appearing on default screen and then ra scrum bug screen and rop scrum bug screen so these are the two projects that we have and on these two bug screens for the two projects this particular field affects version will be visible so you have then actions here you can edit this field or you can hide or make it as required and then you can also add new screens um, to uh, enable this particular effects version field in the new screen as well so from this field config you can easily see what all fields are there and which screens these fields are enabled so it gives you a clear understanding of what all um, what all impact can happen if you update or edit any of these particular fields there are um, some of the fields which are the default fields and you cannot update and uh, if there are any custom fields that you create those are editable and you can edit those now let's see how you can configure these fields in any issue type so for example uh, if we want to disable the attachment field so if you click on create any issue and I'll say task and click on next so attachment field is visible there and your um, project doesn't require the attachment field or uh, they don't require uh, say for example the sprint field for the task uh, how you can disable any of the fields from the issue type or when you are creating the particular issue so you can simply go back to the section to the project admin and from there in the field default field config what we can do is for example we'd want to disable um, the attachment then in that particular uh, issue types so for example default issue screen just go to that screen and then from that screen you remove this particular attachment field right so now what will happen is if you go to the RCV Academy project this is the RCV Academy project and default issue uh, issue screen then this attachment uh, field won't be visible there so if we go back to the project 
uh, and change the project to RCV Academy and then try to create a task. So now in this task you won't be seeing any of the attachment field. If you change it to bug then the attachment field will be there. Why it is there? Because if you go back, I'll cancel that. If you go back to the project settings and go back to the default field configuration and go to attachment. So what I have done is if you see here in the bug screen, the attachment is still there. The attachment field is still, is still there, but in the default, uh, you know, like other default issue screen, I have removed that. So what I can do is if you want to enable that for other issue types, you can simply go to the screens and you can add the scrum default issue screens. You can just check that box and update it. And this attachment field will again get enabled for RCV Academy project default issue screen. And in this default issue screen, there are uh, story, epic, uh, task and subtask. So if I go back and create the task, now the attachment field will be visible again, right? So that's pretty much all about um, the fields in uh, your uh, Jira uh, project and how you can configure the fields to enable and disable on different screens. Thank you very much for watching. Please do share and subscribe.